Hi and welcome. My name is Michelle Thompson. I'm a market development agronomist with Cargill based in the Southeast Saskatchewan Territory. I want to steal five minutes of your time to present to you the nutrient maps created from 2020 soil sampling data. Using Cargill soil sampling data from 2020, we are able to create visual deficiency maps. Using these maps, we're able to predict potential nutrient concerns in certain territories, as well as track future nutrient trends for our customers. Beginning with phosphorus, as you can see across Western Canada, deficiency levels vary. Phosphorus is an immobile nutrient and relies on a consistent fertility plan. In 2015, the International Plant Nutritional Institute collected data from across North America to identify the phosphorus deficiencies. In Saskatchewan alone, 81% of soil samples were deficient in phosphorus. From our 2020 data, we can see across Western Canada, we are still 77% below somewhat deficient. With this in mind, phosphorus is an important nutrient to include in a full fertility plan across the farm. With potassium, we see higher deficiencies in our black soil zones. Potassium is a mobile nutrient, but availability is not always guaranteed. With potash applications, we are seeing crop responses even when soil samples are below 200 ppm, which is still considered a high level. Potash application impacts chloride levels as well. Chloride, and I apologize, Alberta data was not included, as you can see, is deficient across Saskatchewan and Manitoba. Chloride is a mobile nutrient and easily lost in high rainfall. Potash, or potassium chloride, po provides chloride for our soils. So as you can see, chloride is dependent on a consistent potash program. Boron deficiencies vary across Western Canada. Boron is a mobile nutrient and it is impacted by high rainfall as well. Boron benefits from an in furrow and foliar application as boron toxicity can occur for in furrow and later applications have seen crop responses for a foliar application. Copper is an immobile nutrient and our deficiencies correlate with the black and dark brown soil zones. As you can see, deficiencies are higher in our black soil zones. And finally, zinc. Zinc is an immobile nut nutrient and deficiencies correlate with our brown soil zones. Zinc is often high in areas where our organic matter percents are really high and where manure applications have been spread. This correlates with a usually lower organic matter in our brown soil zones. When considering a full nutrient plan, you're only as good as your limiting nutrient. So when we're considering the law of the minimum or Liebig's law, build a barrel with solid walls or balance your fertility plan. Don't always focus on nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, and sulfur, but include your micros as well. Also consider the 4R fertility plan, which means right rate, right place, right source, and right time. By including these factors in your fertility plan, you'll create a sustainable fertilizer plan that not only means farming for the future, but increasing your profitability. Check us out on cargillag.ca and contact your local Cargill rep today to start your balanced fertility plan. And thank you for joining us.